Hello friends, welcome back once again to another new video on Mastra. So today we will learn about another important mapping techniques by using Mastra. So suppose we have a requirement where we would like to execute some logic before or after each mapping. Then at this case, Mastra provides additional controls for customization. Okay. So for this customization, we can use two important annotations at the rate before mapping and at the rate after mapping. So today we will learn how we can use these two annotations at the rate before mapping and at the rate after mapping to do the mappings. Okay. So for this, let me show you an example. So this is the project Spring Boot with Master Demo. I will use the same order DTO and order entity. Okay. So let me open these two bins quickly. Okay, so this is my order and this is my order DTO. So in my order DTO, I have a field like quantity. Similarly, in my order entity also, I have added the same quantity field. So let me open the mapper, order mapper, uh, which is responsible to do the mapping between order to order DTO and order DTO to order. So see here, while we are converting order DTO to order entity. So let's say in this order DTO request object or in this order DTO that quantity field comes as 0. Okay. If that quantity field comes as 0, then in this order entity also that field set to 0. But I want a validation for this quantity field. I want before executing these two entity method. Okay. I want to set that quantity as 1 if it comes as 0. Okay, in my request object, if that quantity field comes as 0, then I want to set it as 1. Okay, so at that time, I can use at the rate before mapping. So that before executing of this method to entity, while converting order DTO to order, my quantity field is set to 1 in this order DTO object. Okay, so at that time, I will go for at the rate before mapping. So let's see how we can do this. So uh, before this line, uh, let me put at the rate before mapping. Okay, I'll add at, at the rate before mapping. Then I'll create a default method here. So let's say default. So I just want to set the order detail value. So I'll make the return type as void. Then let's say I am providing the name as validate. Okay, so here I'll pass order detail. Because my source is order DTO, here I can pass the order DTO directly. So I will check if, if order DTO dot get quantity is equal to equal to 0. Okay. If the quantity field comes as 0 in this order DTO field, then I want to set it to 1. Okay. So this is my method. So I can annotate this method as before mapping. So what happens? Before executing this two entity method while converting order DTO to order, this method will be executed. Understood? So, if I go to my implementation class for this order mapper IMPL, you can see, uh, let me open my order mapper IMPL. Okay, see here, this is the two entity method. See, first validate method will be executed. Then it will execute the rest of the mapping. Understood? So, that is nothing but your at the rate before mapping. So that method, this validate method is invoked right before this two entity method. Okay. Similarly, we have another annotation that is at the rate after mapping. So how we can use this at the rate after mapping? I'll show you that one also. So uh, let me take another example. Uh, let's say inside my order DTO, I have another field like sum. Okay. Inside this order DTO, I have another field like sum. So, I want to provide this sum value while converting this to DTO. While converting this order entity to order DTO, in this order DTO uh, object, I want to send the sum value to the client. Okay, so this sum will be nothing but this sum will be multiplication of my, uh, yeah, so this sum will be multiplication of order amount and quantity. So that will give me the sum value. Okay, initially in my order 
enter the class, the sum is not there. I have the amount and I have the quantity in my order entity. So in order DTO, I have added another field which is sum. I want to send this sum value to, to the client or in the response object which is nothing but multiplication of order amount and quantity. Okay. So at this time, I will go for at the rate after mapping. So what happens? Let's see. While convert this order to order DTO, after this code is executed, then in the order DTO, that sum field will be set. Okay. So how we can achieve this? So after this code, I can add another method. Okay, I can add another method that is annotated as at the rate after mapping. So that what happens, this method will be executed or this method will be invoked just right after this to DTO method. Understood? So it will convert order entity to order DTO and after that, that after mapping method will be executed and the extra field sum value will be set to order DTO. Okay, how we can do this? Let's see. So I'll create another default method and annotate it as address after mapping. Okay. So see here. So I have added another default method that is calculate sum. And I annotate this method as address after mapping. And in input I have provided order. So it will check if the order dot get quantity not equal to zero and order dot get amount not equal to zero, then sum is equal to sum plus order dot get quantity multiplied with order dot get amount. So it will calculate the sum. Okay. Then we need to set this sum to our order DTO. Isn't it? So here we are converting order entity to order DTO, but we have an additional requirement where we want to execute a piece of code after this method to DTO. That's why we created a method and annotated it as address after mapping. So now this will set this sum to order DTO. So how we can do this? Simply we can use another annotation inside this method that is nothing but at the rate mapping target. So here we will provide our target. Mapping target is nothing but order DTO. This is our mapping target. Okay. Order DTO. Now in DTO I can set this sum value. Order DTO dot set sum. Okay. I can set this sum value. Understood? So this mapping target annotation used to target mapping right after the mapping logic. So if I go to order mapper IMPL, you can see here while we are converting order entity to order DTO, first it will execute our mapping technique. Then after mapping logic, our calculate sum method will be executed. Just right after the mapping, this calculate sum will be invoked. Okay. So this is nothing but our after mapping and before mapping. So before mapping will be executed just before our mapping and after mapping will executed just after the mapping. So I hope you understand what is the difference between the address before mapping and address after mapping. So let me quickly save this application and run it to check the output whether our address before mapping and address after mapping is work successfully or not okay so my application started at 1990 let me go to the browser and hit that endpoint so this is my order controller so this is save order method so here uh, let me add the description like order let's say order 50 i am providing any random description id is not required here Order amount, let's say I am providing like 7000. Order date, I am providing 2022 August 10. Okay. Order status, let me put it like deliver. And quantity here. So quantity, let me set as zero. Let's see what happens. Okay. And sum, I don't need this sum while converting order DTO to order because in my order entity or in my database, I don't want to save this sum 
okay i just want to save the order amount and quantity so i don't need to save this sum because in my entity class there is no sum field is there okay so let me hit execute so see our quantity is set to what one because before mapping we have added before execution of the mapping logic we have added if the quantity field coming as zero in the order dto then set it to one that's why here quantity is coming as one then if i hit get endpoint order by id by providing this id 75 then you can see the after mapping logic will be also executed we will get that sum value so see order amount description order date order status quantity 1 so sum is nothing but order amount multiplied with quantity so it is coming at 7000 okay that means our after mapping logic also working fine okay so we have added after mapping annotation right so this method calculate sum will be invoked just right after this to dto method understood and the logic inside will be executed and we'll get the sum value in our order dto response okay so that is nothing but how we can use add rate before mapping and add rate after mapping so i have taken this example actually to demonstrate this add rate before mapping and add rate after mapping concept i hope you understand and you can use according to your requirement in your application okay so that's it for today's video guys see you in my next video till then thanks for watching thank you